Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets live streaming tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to live stream to Instagram and Facebook at the same time. So this will allow you to live stream not only to Instagram, but you can also live stream to a personal Facebook profile or a Facebook page. Now in this tutorial, we'll be using a computer and we'll be using two different tools. The first will be a free tool called Yellow Duck. So we'll download their software and install it to our computer. And then the second tool is going to be Restream. And before we get too far, I do want to disclose that the Restream is sponsoring this video. So thank you for that Restream. Restream is a very popular tool that allows you to live stream to multiple platforms at the same time. It's used by a lot of very large streamers. Now they do offer a very capable free version, but in order to live stream to Instagram and a Facebook page, we're going to have to have at least the standard version, which is $19 a month. But if you use the link in my description, you'll get $10 off on your first month. So that makes it really affordable to at least try out and see if it works for you. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with how to live stream to Instagram and Facebook at the same time. So the first thing we should do is go to yellowduck.tv and check the description. I'll have all the links down there I discuss. And go ahead and download their software either for your Windows computer or your Mac. So I'm going to download Windows. Then we just need to open their software and get it installed. Now once Yellow Duck has installed and we're being asked to log into Instagram, before we do anything else with Yellow Duck, we need to go to Restream.io. And again, I do recommend using the link in my description to get $10 off your first month. Go ahead, go to Restream, create your accounts, and you will need to have at least the standard paid version to complete the steps that we're about to complete. Once you complete the process of creating your Restream account, you'll be asked to add channels. So channels are going to be the different platforms that we'll be live streaming to, such as Instagram and Facebook. What I recommend doing is going to add channel. And then as you can see here, you have either Facebook personal profile, but if you want to live stream to a Facebook page, go down to the bottom and select groups or public pages. And that's what I'll be doing. You have to connect your Facebook account to Restream. So let's go through that process. Select connect Facebook. This will bring you to Facebook where then you can give Restream access. What I like to do is select choose what they, you allow, and then you can choose what access you'll give to Restream and you'll have to give them access to your page and your app insights. After that, select OK. And then once you're brought back to Restream, you have the option of selecting where you'll stream to, either your personal profile or whatever public pages you have given them access to. So I'm going to select the public page and then I'll select Save. All right, so now we are connected to Facebook. The next thing we need to do is add Instagram. And to do that, all we need to do is select Add Channel. And then in the bottom section right here, you'll see custom RTMP, select that. This is gonna ask us to enter a URL and then a stream key. And now what we need to do is go back to Yellow Duck. So open up Yellow Duck on your computer, enter your credentials to log into your Instagram account. You have two options down here to allow commenting on your live stream in Instagram. And then the last option to save your live stream as a story on Instagram. I'm gonna go ahead and leave those checked. Once you've entered your information, go ahead and select Login and Start. And then as you can see, we'll be given a URL, which we can copy right here. Then go back to Restream, paste that in, and then also a stream key. So go ahead and copy that, and then paste that in. Once you've done that, select Add Channel. And then as you can see here, we have the custom RTMP, and we also have Facebook. So we can now live stream to Facebook and Instagram at the same time. You want to make sure that both of these are toggled on, but if for some reason you did not want to live stream to Facebook, but you want to live stream to Instagram, you can turn off Facebook as well. So now to start live streaming, all we need to do is go over to Live Studio in the left sidebar. And then when Live Studio loads, you'll be asked to grant access to your microphone and your camera. Go ahead and allow that. Now, if you want to change the camera that it's using, go down into the gear right here into settings and then just select the correct webcam. So I have another one right here and then it will adjust there as you can see. So I'm using an external webcam now. Now, before we go live, I just want to go over a quick basics of how to use Restream Live Studio. And first at the bottom, you have the option of muting or disabling your camera. You also can share your screen. So just select that. And then you can share your screen. You can also choose specific applications or even tabs in Chrome. And just an example, I'm going to live stream the Gaging Gadgets blog. So as you can see here, it added it over to the right in the spotlight and I can enable it. 
and then it will add it to my stream. If I wanna have a better view of the actual page I'm sharing, I can change the format up here in the top right so that you can see the full page. And as I scroll, it'll change as well. Go ahead and remove that so you can see me. But now at the bottom, we also have the option to invite guests. So this will give you a URL and anyone that you want to join your stream can just access that link and it will work on mobile phones, Chromebooks, any type of computer, as long as they have a browser, they'll be able to live stream their webcam and share their screen if they're on a computer via that link. So you can invite anyone you want to to your live stream. And then after that, you can even upload videos to your live stream and have them played to Instagram and Facebook, which is very cool. Over here on the right, we have chat. I'm not sure if this would work with Instagram, but if someone were to chat on Facebook, you would be able to see that right here. Using the caption tag, you can add captions to your stream. So if I show this right here, it'll say subscribe now on YouTube. And it's very easy to create these. All you need to do is just add some information. So follow me. And then the secondary text, I will add Instagram. And then I can add that caption. So I can show that and then it will tell people to follow me on Instagram. So it's very cool. You can hide them, you can show them. After that, you can also add graphics to your live stream. So if you wanted to add a logo, kind of like that, or an overlay, you can upload your own. And then if you wanted to, you could add a background. So as you can see, this has the restream background. I can add my own background, which is really cool. So it can be a branded background, makes your video look more professional. And then you can also add participant names and add your name. So if you have guests, people know who's talking and which video is which. And then at the bottom, you can change the primary color. Over in the setup tab up here, we can change the titles and those will not work with Instagram currently, but it will work on Facebook. And then you can also turn off the different destinations. All right, so now that we have gone through all of Restream Studios and how it works, all we need to do to go live is simply select go live right here. And when we go to the Gaging Gadgets Facebook page, you can see that I'm live. And then as you can see on my phone, I'm also live on Instagram. Now to finish our live stream and stop it, all we need to do is go up right here in Live Studio and select Finish. Confirm we wanna end our stream, and then it will end it, and then our live stream has completed. Now we, there is one more step to end it. We need to open up Yellow Duck and select Save and Finish, and then confirm you wanna finish your live stream. And this will end the live stream on Instagram completely. All right, so that's how you live stream to both Instagram and Facebook at the same time. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more live streaming tutorial videos, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up. And please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.